Hello there, and welcome to Level Update. Today we're diving deep into the latest data on Lake Powell's water levels. And for once, there's a bit of good news. After months of steady decline, the lake has finally shown a slight but meaningful rise, thanks largely to recent rainfall events across the upper Colorado River Basin. This fresh boost of inflow has given Lake Powell a short but important moment of stability. So let's explore what's happening behind the numbers, how the rain has influenced the system, and what it could mean for the months ahead. As of October 11, 2025, Lake Powell stands at an elevation of 3,544.21 feet above sea level. That means the lake is still 155.79 feet below full pool, but it's now 0.18 feet higher than its recent low, a small but meaningful rise directly linked to recent rain across the watershed. These late-season showers delivered much-needed moisture into the tributaries that feed the reservoir, giving it a short-term lift after a long summer of decline. It's not a dramatic jump, but any increase after months of loss is a positive development, especially when it happens before the main winter recharge season even begins. Looking closer at the data, total inflows to the reservoir for the 2026 water year so far amount to 146,152 acre-feet, which is about 72.75% of the historical average for early October. On the other hand, total releases through Glen Canyon Dam stand at 172,969 acre-feet, meaning outflows still exceed inflows. Despite that, the lake's surface elevation rose slightly. The reason lies in the short burst of rainfall-driven runoff, which temporarily boosted the inflow rate, offsetting some of the ongoing releases. Essentially, the rain helped the lake hold steady and even climb a bit, creating a short-term positive balance. The short-term graph covering October 6th through October 11th illustrates this shift beautifully. Between October 6th and 9th, the water level steadily declined, dropping from around 3544.34 feet to 3544.05 feet. Then, as rainfall hit the basin and runoff began entering the system, the lake reversed course and rose to 3544.21 feet by October 11th. That's a textbook example of how rainfall events, even modest ones, can make a visible difference in a system as large as Lake Powell, especially when upstream reservoirs and rivers respond quickly to added water input. Another important indicator comes from the inflow index for rivers feeding Lake Powell. Those inflows are currently running at 157.84% of the October 13th average, confirming that the recent rains temporarily boosted flows in the Colorado, San Juan, and Escalante rivers. That surge is what helped push the lake surface level slightly upward. It's a reminder that rainfall, even short and localized, can have a meaningful short-term effect on water levels, especially during the transition between dry and cool seasons. Zooming out to the past 12 months, the larger picture becomes clear. Over the year, Powell's elevation gradually declined from around 3577 feet to 3544 feet, but the recent uptick marks the first small recovery in several months. Most of that decline happened through the summer, when high evaporation and heavy water releases lowered the reservoir. Now, thanks to the recent rainfall, the lake is showing the first hint of rebound, a sign that inflows are beginning to catch up with releases, even if only temporarily. By content, Powell currently holds 26.62% of its total capacity, or roughly 6.7 million acre-feet of water. That might not sound like much, but it's enough to keep hydroelectric generation running smoothly at Glen Canyon Dam and to support downstream deliveries. What's most encouraging is that the system remains operationally stable. The small rise from rainfall has helped offset what would otherwise have been another week of steady decline. In hydrologic terms, that's a significant success. When analyzing the regional data, we can see why rainfall had such a strong impact. The upper basin's total precipitation stands at about 180.96% of average, while snowpack remains at 57.88% of normal.
This means recent weather events brought considerable rain rather than snow, directly feeding rivers and reservoirs instead of being locked in frozen storage. For Powell, that means instant benefit, water that flows in now rather than waiting for spring melt. That explains the quick rise observed in early October. At the same time, the 34 tracked reservoirs upstream of Lake Powell are collectively at 68.14% of capacity, another positive sign. These upstream systems received their own rainfall inputs, which improved inflows into Powell. Coordinated water management ensures that the timing of releases upstream and rainfall inflows combine efficiently, helping to stabilize the system downstream. The result is that Powell's decline has slowed dramatically and may even hold steady for several weeks depending on additional precipitation. It's also important to highlight that while the lake is still more than 150 feet below full pool, the annual decline rate is improving. Over the past year, Powell dropped about 33 feet, but that's a slower rate than in many prior years. With rainfall boosting inflows, that downward pace has paused, and that's an early sign of balance returning to the system. The small rise recorded in October shows how even moderate rainfall can temporarily shift the balance between inflow and outflow. Hydrologically, what we're seeing is the lake entering a short stabilization phase. The combination of rainfall, healthy soil moisture, and cooler temperatures reduces evaporation losses while enhancing runoff efficiency. Each inch of rainfall over the upper basin can translate into millions of gallons of inflow for the reservoir. So while this rain-driven rise may not last indefinitely, it demonstrates how sensitive Powell's short-term water balance can be to natural precipitation events. For power generation at Glen Canyon Dam, this is also good news. The slight rise in water elevation increases the hydraulic head, the pressure that drives turbines. That means a bit more power output from the same water release volume. Keeping the elevation above 3540 feet ensures reliable hydroelectric operation, and this new bump gives operators a bit more margin heading into the colder months when energy demand often increases. The takeaway from this October data is clear. The recent rainfall provided Powell with a brief but meaningful lift. It won't solve long-term storage challenges, but it represents an encouraging short-term gain, one that suggests the system is responding positively to improved weather conditions. The rise of 0.18 feet might look small, yet it reflects thousands of acre-feet of new water entering the lake in just a few days. From an analytical perspective, the current situation can be seen as a moment of equilibrium. Outflows remain steady, inflows have improved due to rain, and the overall level is holding. These are the kinds of short-term shifts that can set the stage for more stability later in the water year. If additional storms arrive in late October or November, the reservoir could experience a more extended rise before winter even begins. So while the big picture still shows Lake Powell far below historical averages, the recent rainfall-driven increase is a welcome change. It proves that the system remains resilient, capable of responding quickly when natural conditions provide a boost. For those following the data closely, it's a refreshing sight to see that gentle upward curve on the graph instead of another decline. Every tenth of a foot counts, and this one came from the skies. For the millions of people who rely on Lake Powell's water and power, this stabilization is good news. It means continued reliability for hydroelectric generation, steady downstream deliveries, and a chance to rebuild confidence that the lake can hold steady heading into winter. It also highlights how vital short-term weather patterns are to maintaining balance in such a massive system. And that brings us to the close of this update. Lake Powell, for now, is steady and slightly rising thanks to the recent rain that refreshed inflows and brought a touch of optimism to the start of the new water year. It's a reminder that even small weather events can have meaningful impacts on a system of this size. The lake's current elevation of 3,544.21 feet represents stability, not decline, and that's something worth noting.
Thank you so much for watching and staying informed through these detailed analyses of Lake Powell's water levels. If you enjoyed these in-depth updates and want to keep track of how rainfall, runoff, and reservoir operations affect the lake week by week, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. We'll continue to monitor every rise, every shift, and every inflow as it happens. For now, the message is simple. Lake Powell is up. Thanks to the rain, a small rise, but a very welcome one. See you in the next update.